Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As promised, I am gonna be doing a what I'm gonna be wearing in 2022. <music> Okay, let's get into it. First thing I'm gonna be wearing in 2023 is actually probably quite a talking point. I am going to be wearing low rise jeans. I've actually, I'm gonna be doing a video on this, I have decided. Um, I hated them at the beginning of last year, absolutely hated them, I wanted to like them. Started to, and then they just disappeared. And then I got some from Hollister, really liked them. And then we got into like the summer and I don't feel like they were as wearable. And then we got into winter again and I've started wearing them again. And I do quite like them. I think I like them more in the winter because you aren't like, it's not like cropped jumpers, it's not cropped tops. And therefore I think they work a bit more for me and they are so much more comfortable than a high waist or a mid rise because they are literally underneath your stomach basically so when you sit down you haven't got trousers literally digging into the sides of you as soon as you sit down and your stomach obviously bends obviously when it then comes around to spring summer again i might change my tune and decide to just not wear any at all and just go to skirts and just, uh, skirts and shorts again who knows but at the minute i am absolutely loving the low-rise jean i really did not expect me a size 16 to actually be wholeheartedly saying the first trend that I am going to be wearing in 2023 is a low rise jean. But here we are. <laughs> the next trend that I am going to be wearing probably doesn't come as a shock at all, but I'm gonna be wearing the midi and maxi skirts yet again. I absolutely love them and I can't wait to absolutely ransack Vinted for them when people start uploading them. I have been looking on there already. Yes, I have, yes, I know. Um, and there's not many at the minute that I quite enjoy, but I think in the next couple of months when people are gonna be uploading their spring wardrobes when they've been sorting through it, there's gonna be some gems. So I cannot wait to get them out again. Obviously, during the winter, it's kind of been a bit too cold to be wearing a maxi or a midi skirt. I probably could have worn them with like tights or something, but I just, I'm not really a tight person when it comes to the winter. I don't really enjoy tights. So I just kind of tend to wear joggers, jeans, any form of trouser really. So the next trend that I'm going to be wearing is the denim on denim trend. I, I don't have a love hate relationship with it. That's incorrect. I forget that denim on denim is a thing and then I remember that it is and I'll do it. I don't know what it is, like I have to see it on Pinterest or like I have to just remember that I have the coordinating item in my wardrobe because I like it to match. I don't like mismatch denim when it's like dark denim and light denim together. I don't, I don't, I'm not, not sure about that. Maybe I'd like it on maybe i would but i think it needs to match dark and dark denim light and light denim i think that's quite nice it's quite like a coordinating look i think that's quite nice yeah like i said i just forget about it and then remember it and it's a bit it's a bit of a fleeting thing for me but i definitely will be wearing it for 2022 um 2023 god christ it's really weird saying 2023 i feel it's just it's a bit made up <laughs> Okay, and then the next thing that I am gonna be wearing in 2023 is corset tops. Now, these kind of like surged in popularity in 2020. They came back during like the TikTok craze in 2020 during lockdown. And they've kind of like lingered. Like last year, they were still a thing. The year before that was still a thing. Sorry, I think, keep thinking I'm in 2020. I'm still in 2022 doing this. So I'm like 2021, 2022 but they're still like there because obviously you've still got the Y2K 90s um, hints here. It's quite, it's quite fun. And I love, I love everything 90s, everything Y2K. So of course I'm gonna be wanting to wear them some more. I have actually looked on Vinted for some already. I'm actually really sad because there was this one that I absolutely loved. And if for any reason, and one of you girlies happened to have it, then please do let me know and I'll buy it off you. <laughs> for a reasonable price. I found it and literally liked it. I think I gave her like an, I made an offer and then it got sold. 
I should just bought it. Um, but I did find another one on Urban Outfitters that I'm really, really excited to style. Obviously, it's January as you're watching this, so I probably won't get much wear out of it at the minute. But when it starts warming up in like April, like maybe March, April time, maybe I'll wear like a top underneath it. Um, that's when I'll think I'll start getting the wear out of it. Or maybe I'll even just like wear it about the house. I don't know if I'm going out or something somewhere nice. I think that'd be quite nice. Absolute yes for corset tops. I still absolutely love them. And I think they're just a nice, like four nights out. When I started going out out, I'd wear like body suits and they'd be like lingerie body suits. I feel like corset tops are kind of like that thing at the minute. Like when you go out, it's like jeans and a nice top, but it's a corset top. Yeah, I just think they offer a little bit of pizzazz i really like them the next thing that i'm going to be wearing in 2023 is the mesh dresses and the mesh skirts i absolutely love them i still think they're really really sick i really like the mesh dresses i think they are really really sick with some like cowboy boots which is another one actually of the trends that i'm going to be wearing still this year i've got my cowboy boots down here in the corner that i absolutely love and i've been wearing them to death this year and i think they're just a beautiful like summer knee boot because I have my knee boots from um, Simply Be that I absolutely love, but they're not really like a summer boot. Whereas the cowboy boots are really just stunning, an all rounder boot, which is just a nice one to wear instead of wearing like a sandal or trainers. I just think they're quite, they look like a level up. Um, if they are available still on Simply Be, then I will link the exact ones down below. I'm not sure, therefore I will link similar. The mesh dresses, I just think, because as well, sometimes they're a bit body con, they like show off your feet and all the little good bits and obviously yes the bits that humble you but also I just think there's nothing better than just like a nice tight fitted dress maybe like a little jacket over the top if you're kind of feeling a bit ooh. you can literally dress it however you like you can wear like trainers with it and like make it casual you can wear like I said the cowboy boots as well and like dress it up a little bit all around uh, good vibes I think I'm gonna be looking at those on vintage we'll see won't we you'll see this month if I find any <laughs> the next trend that I'm gonna be wearing in 2023 is the baggy jean I absolutely love a baggy jean and by baggy jean I think their baggy jean is different to my baggy jean but I'll be wearing wide leg jeans for the foreseeable like as soon as I started wearing wide leg jeans in like 2019 2020 i have not gone back and i absolutely love them specifically like the yoko jeans from monkey i absolutely love if you guys are like five foot four or above then they'll be perfect for you but i'm sorry shorties they, they they're a bit hit or miss um because they are quite long um and i have to wear like air forces or like a chunky trainer for them not to be scraping across the floor because i'm short apparently <laughs> i feel like that baggy trouser baggy trousers <laughs> my dad would absolutely love baggy trousers i don't know I'd, I'd love in wide leg form absolutely no problem but if you're including the cargo pants i'm not too sure I have said in my previous video, I'm just not too sure on the cargo pant trend. I need to give them a go and maybe like I'll do a video of um, like showing some cargo pants or something with you guys and like trying to style them up and then I'll give you like my overall opinion and vibes. We'll check the vibes in at the end of the month and see what I'm thinking. But at the minute, unsure, uh, undecided on the baggy jean trend wide leg jeans absolutely as also people wear like the smart trousers and make it like a blazer with the baggy trousers like the the relaxed it's like a dad trouser not sure on that either i feel like uh, i'm not really like a person that wears a blazer and and a tra pair of trousers that's not going to be me that's not the sort of content i create that's not the sort of style that i go for so mm, unsure okay as i said i'm just going to quickly talk about cowboy boots they are going to be my absolute ride or dies for 2023 i absolutely love them i kind of touched on that already in the other one so i didn't really feel like i needed to explain some more on that but yeah absolutely love them i want to find some more like not unique but i want to find some like crazier colors in my cowboy boots i think they'll be really fun maybe like some pink ones or some blue ones but it's like trying to find 
the right fit for my fives as well. Maybe that could be a video. Maybe I could like try and find cowboy boots with you guys um, because I'm obviously gonna be wearing them a lot more this year. So if there's obviously like a high street brand that will do some funky cowboy boots or even if I manage to find some on Vinted, I will of course be sharing them with you guys and letting you know what brands they are. So the next and the final, final one that I'm going to be wearing in 2023 is Bright Knits. I absolutely love bright knit i like this literally is just a bright knit sort of it's a stripy knit i absolutely love a stripy knit at the minute um the last couple of months i've actually just been living and dying in this one that i got from primark ages ago and this one i recently found in pull and bear absolutely love it you can wear it with like so many different pieces i just love it i really really do love it um, so yes, bright knits are definitely going to become more and more of a thing in my wardrobe for 2023, particularly like obviously the earlier part and then the later part because I'm not going to be wearing jumpers during May and June or July, hopefully. Um, but yes, they are definitely going to be staying in my wardrobe in 2023. No surprise there. <laughs> I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know if I missed any that you think am. Uh, are you not going to be wearing that in 2023? What do you mean? If you guys haven't seen it, then definitely do check out the video previous where I talk about all the trends I'm going to be leaving in 2022 because I thought that was quite a fun video. I just basically talk about, obviously, the trends I'm going to be leaving in 2022. And if you guys have any contradicting opinions, then I absolutely love to hear that. Let me know what you guys are going to be wearing this year as well. What are your favourite items that you wore last year and that you're going to continue to wear this year? Um, I just think it'll be really interesting to see how my style changes this year because I think there's definitely some things last year so sorry there's definitely some things in 2021 but I would love to like find things and like bring them back because I'm like a bigger size now obviously they didn't fit so I had to sell them I have been trying to find like the same items in a bigger size so I could kind of like wear them again because I really really love them and yeah I'm just really excited to see where this year goes in terms of fashion and I've really enjoyed actually researching what's going to be trending this year I hope you guys did enjoy so I will let you guys go speak to you guys soon and have a lovely rest of your week <laughs>